Hello, it's Monday, start of week six. Uh, I'm going to do a little change up to the kettlebells today purely because on my drive home I remember a workout DVD that I used to do all the time and I really enjoyed it. Now that's what I call fitness. I actually got this about, it's going on seven years now so <laughs> it's quite an old one. I mean if you can see, I don't know if it's backwards or anything, the songs that are on there, not my taste. I'm quite old. Now it has, like I say, it's been nearly seven years and my fitness compared to seven years ago is, well, I used to go to the gym nearly every day at that point. So, I know for a fact I haven't been to the gym this year. I think I went once last year and we know I'm out of shape, hence fit for Florida. If I was fit, I wouldn't have to get fit for Florida. I would just be fit in Florida. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm going to give my honest opinion after how much difference has seven years made? Has it killed me off? Has it put me off the DVD forever? Will I be burning this DVD tonight? Or maybe just shredding because plast burning plastic is not good for the environment. But yeah, that's my Monday plan. Ryan and I were wanting to go for a walk tonight, but it's been raining off and on all day. It's the one disadvantage of living at the seaside in the countryside, if that makes sense. It rains a lot because it's very green, so it rains. We'll see. So on this you get the option to, you can do the workout all the way through or you can select your own workout. So what I've done here, you can see the line there. And for whatever you pick, it fills in. So I've gone for the warm up, ease in, rock it out, cool down, just to start. Because I don't want to kill myself. Um, I can't remember what the songs are that go with them. And I'm not entirely sure, no, it doesn't give you them on there. Um, but I might give this a workout a go. You can also play with the instructions, so that's with the instructor guiding it all the way through. Or if you've done them a few times, you know the routines, you don't need that help, play with music. And it's just you dance along with music, which is the ultimate aim, really. Look how red I am. Look, I am, sorry, sweating. shiny everywhere that was awesome i really really enjoyed the workout i did very nearly gave up during the rock out one or whatever that was called but i persevered i feel so good for it oh my god i, I knew i kept that dvd for a reason i've bought other ones since like i got a biggest loser one i really just didn't enjoy that at all and you have seen if you watched earlier episodes i tried the pop sugar stuff on, um, on youtube some of it I liked, some of it I didn't. For me, you can see how much, I mean, I can barely hang on. I couldn't even hold the phone up. I'm so, I'm so sweaty. Uh, that's on top of the fact that it is so warm outside. It's still so humid. But I had the window open. I kept hydrated throughout. And I'm so sweaty. Ryan cooked up the Slimming World turkey chili last night, so when he finally gets in, we're going to eat that, have some corn on the cob, maybe go for a walk, but I know for a fact I've got one out of seven workouts done already, so I am so chuffed with myself for, for keeping at it two weeks in a row with workouts, because if anybody knows me or you've been watching me, you can kind of tell that I get easily put off things work out things and I will just give up and that's why I'm in the state I am now and needing to lose weight beforehand because I'll just give up oh my god this is pulling really bad Ugh, you can see it oh my god it's so shiny right I'm gonna go shower because this is nasty goodbye <laughs> to look really casual eating your lunch in the car park at work whilst filming. I don't know if I'm getting away with it. Nobody at work knows that we do these vlogs. Our family and friends don't know. People have mixed views on YouTubers. Not that we exactly class ourselves as YouTubers but 
it's something that we really enjoy and you guys must really enjoy as you follow vlogs but a lot of the world still don't they're still not on board with it so i'm not 100 percent confident filming outside certainly not at work but it's wednesday we didn't film anything on tuesday i did do a kettlebell workout ryan did a kettlebell workout um the kinesiology tape that we're using he's now using a bit on the bottom of his back and he's found it really really helpful i'm still using it on my knees i've got it on the bottom of my feet for my plantar fasciitis and i find it's really helping on both um still hurts a lot getting out of bed in the morning for my feet so it's not so much that it's a miracle cure um but it helps a bit throughout the day uh, today it's really really overcast and um, but today we have I've challenged Ryan on the Fitbit for us both to hit our daily targets. Um, now, mine's 6,000, his is 9,000. I mentioned before that he does a lot of walking at work, so he's going to achieve it. But I've actually been achieving for the past week, every day. Um, even if it's, we've found that even if we've got a couple of hundred steps left at the end of the day, we are walking backwards and forwards, <laughs> watching TV on the rug in the front room just to get those final steps in because we really want to hit that target so we're challenging each other on that at the weekend we're going to do one of the new york city challenges i think it's like eight thousand steps so again he'll hit that straight away but it's a little bit more for me um tonight again i'm going to do some kettlebells we're going to have turkey steaks this can be really good we had turkey steaks last night but tonight ryan's making he's found a slimming world recipe where the turkey steak you use that as a pizza base and put like passata and a little bit of cheese and some of the top ones on so it should be like a high protein, low fat pizza. So that's really, really interesting. Um, basically just counting down to our holidays. After today, we've got one and a half shifts. But for me, tomorrow is a 12 hour shift. So it's going to be a long one. Oh God. I hope they can't see me blogging. That's really awkward. Um, I've been living on mug shots um, the past couple of weeks for lunch. So I've got my... Handy little nightmare before Christmas coffee cup that I make my mug shot in and bring it down. And I usually sit and watch. I've been watching Glow on Netflix on my phone. But today I'm going to catch up on the past couple of um, Paging Mr. Morrow vlogs. Because I absolutely adore the pair of them. They are fast become two of my favourite YouTubers. And that's, that's my Wednesday. And as promised, Ryan's... Turkey breast, pizzas, corn on the cob and soya beans. So we just flattened out a turkey breast. We we're gonna get steaks, but he went and got all posh Marks yeah. turkey oh, breast. Yes. Flattened them out, made a herby passata sauce, and a tiny little bit of low fat cheese, and he's got um, onions and peppers on the side for his. It's a, um, it's a slim and world recipe, isn't it? Zero sins as well. Zero sins. So, unfortunately, delightful. mine, as you see, mine's in two parts. Mainly because I thought I'd flattened it really well. It turned out mine had a little bit of room at the back. So I had to cut mine a bit separate and um, But yours, as you can see, turned out perfectly. Look at yeah. the size of that thing. Look at the next amount. I mean, to be fair, I've got small hands. Yeah, and, but... it's flat, and it's a flattened out turkey steak. So... Oh, it looks amazing. So Well done, babe. Bon appetit. Mwah. Good morning. It's Thursday. One more full shift. Half shift tomorrow. And Ryan and I are on holiday. The sun is out. Cannot wait. Oh, I feel like I've waited for this holiday for so long. And this is only our summer holiday, which is only a week and a half long. We've still got 71 days till Florida. I am now waiting on Sunday and I have lost a pound and a half since Sunday. It's Thursday. So I need to log that on the Fitbit. That's just a red me. I need to do that. Um, I am starting work later today. So I've already done my kettlebell workout this morning. Showered full face on. Got a important day. So the full face of makeup was on. And I'm currently just catching up on WDW Couple on YouTube. Uh, I caught up on some page of Mr. Morrow and Eleanor Dreaming this morning. I've had a really YouTube morning. YouTube and working out. It's been good. Well, I had to cut that little bit of video short. The neighbours started having a domestic. Uh, a lot of shouting going on. Didn't think it was appropriate to film. So what I've done since then is I have logged my weight now on Fitbit. 
I know I've driven to work, it's really sad. But I did have the best playlist, so I don't know if I've mentioned earlier, Ryan and I are just start watching Nashville. We are halfway through season one in a couple of days and we are addicted. Um, is our guilty pleasure, we do like country music. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. And we've made our own playlist ready for our two road trips next week. So I've been testing out this one. It's very good. It's very road trippy. So I've now got to go into work. Well, a lot can change in four hours. Guess who's off tomorrow? Just got to get to late o'clock tonight. And I'm on a holiday. Well, 21st. Buzzing. Ryan's now got the day off as well. Which means we're going to have a nice start to our holiday together. Have Friday off together. Who knows what we'll do. But no doubt you'll be there somewhere. Look at all that rain. Don't know if you can see out the window. Ryan and I planted flowers today. Sure did. We got green fingers. That's what we did today. We went out for lunch as well, didn't we? Yeah. So. And lunch and first, which I think I can't do too much. We we skipped breakfast. We actually didn't have any breakfast, yeah. and then we went out and what did I have? I had chicken katsu curry, and you got three starters. Yes. Yeah, because it's like that. three yeah. starters for a nine pound or something. Yeah. And I left. I left the bread. Yeah, well, the naan bread. Yeah, the naan bread. I'm trying to stay away from the bread as much as possible because I think it floats us. Then we got back in, we got our green fingers on. We've got our green fingers, we've got D weeding out the front, we planted lovely things out the back there. And trimmed some kind and, of Yeah, things out the trimmed back. some bushes that were all the plants apart from what we've planted up were here when we yeah. bought the house. So we're trimming yeah. that back. And how we're cooking pizza. Ryan's gonna watch the football and I'm gonna continue watching Glow on Netflix. And I'm gonna drink some wine. <laughs> I've got two beers in the freezer. Yeah. Nice and cold. Shall I go get them? Ah. Shall we get a Saturday drink on? Saturday. It's Friday. Saturday drink. Oh my God, it's Friday. <laughs> Friday drink on. Yes. I was thinking there, you're like, what? what no. Have we time travelled? No, I just don't know what day it is because we're both off. Yeah. And we're normally only both off on a Saturday. Yeah, if it was Saturday, we would have two sleeping bags in the corner. Because my friends had me two sleeping bags. So oh, there, so. right. That totally confused the hell out of us. That's <laughs> fine. Yeah, tomorrow we need to go pick up the sleeping bags for going glamping on yeah. Monday. And we're possibly going to go get some sushi with them tomorrow. See how we feel. See how we feel. Or how they feel. Yeah. What the weather's doing. And everything. Yay. Yay. So we are in Newcastle. Um, we've come for sushi. Come to do a little bit of shopping. All eating here is there's a guy around the corner playing bagpipes just around there in a Newcastle strip. You can also hear the Newcastle match against Tottenham kicking off in the background. And just over there, just there, is a vegan protest. It's all happening in Newcastle all day. Are you enjoying the sushi though, babe? It's amazing. It's delicious, isn't it? Came to town, so we had to come to Primark. We're on a hunt for the Lion King storage boxes for the front room. Not theirs, where they normally have all that sort of stuff. Let's go. We're back from town, drinking beers, watching Nashville. Ryan's cooking some tea. What are you cooking, babe? We have a brisket. Brisket? Barbecue bar brisket. I haven't put the barbecue in yet because you've been putting it for the last 10 minutes. Uh, I've got it on the timer. Twice cooked chips or three times cooked chips, I can't remember. I think they were twice fried cooked, weren't they? Yeah. At least cook more than once, apparently. Yeah. Uh, I have to start the corn on the cob. <sighs> I forgot we had that. Oh, I'm so excited. And then we've got, like, mixed beans. We've got, it. yeah. Bean salad. Jalapeno. Jalapeno also. also. And what else? Uh, what else? Like, that was it, wasn't it? No, we had three, I think. Anyway, but we're having, like, a little good old Nashville. Well, have it. We are honestly obsessed with Nashville. We are <laughs> we're hammering through it. We're having a... Beer and barbecue kind of night, as much as we can have in our own house yeah. and then, in the north of England. Yeah, and then when it comes to Monday, we're going to be camping. We are yeah, to. glamping. Glamping, sorry. We've got electricity <laughs> and, and showers. showers and toilets. You can't yeah. call it camping when you have that. Correct. Yeah, but we do have a fire pit. Ouch. I can't wait to roast marshmallows in a fire pit. 
s'mores. Some Let's make s'mores. some <laughs> crispy s'mores. <laughs> oh my god, crispy s'mores and a barbecue. That that sounds awful. Yeah. Poor Steph and Dave. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll just have a regular barbecue. Yeah. And then when this is all done, we'll show you what it's gonna look like. Oh yeah, amazing. and it like smell a vision if that was a thing. Oh, yeah, it, it smells, smells so like, good. It, it smells really good right now. It does it smell really good. Mm. But for now, we're just gonna go back to drink beer. Yeah. Beers, beers, beers. Relaxing on Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Doesn't that look good? Here he comes, shuffling in his slippers. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I literally can't wait to tuck into this. Yeah. So I'm going to leave you. I think we've been so, like, so good recently as well. We have. I think, you know, every so often, you just deserve, you know, a little a little thing. And we'd said, I think you said, I think you even said Monday, Tuesday, that look on Saturday, we'll, we'll have a nice meal before we go away. Yeah. And... I had, we had provided for ourselves. We have. These chips, I might even draw them. They look get, incredible. Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's, yeah. They are. People go get them. They're amazing. They're the best chips. It was like £2.50 for like a small thing to share between two, but mm. as a treat. Well, he's enjoying them. I'm going to go enjoy them now. See you soon. I can see that. I don't think we're going for a walk anytime soon and I swear I just saw a flash of lightning. It is 10 to 10 on Sunday morning. It's very wet. Got a lot of pack packing for the glamping to do today and we just found out it's going to rain all day tomorrow as so I want to go. Oh yay, Joey can't wait. I'm trying to find something to make for breakfast with the ingredients we have limited ingredients we have in the cupboard and I'm not going shopping because we're going on holiday found egg free cornmeal pancakes that looks dead easy it is a vegan recipe purely because we have no eggs um, but we'll see if they're any good and if they are I'll put the recipe down below we are just about done for a day I think yeah. we've had a quite productive day I would say uh, that house cleaning that, that house cleaning Ah, I'm finished packing it. But we're nearly there. Um, as you've seen before, Katie made some unbelievable, and they were lovely, but really filling, but really nice. So I uh, like when she cooks all these different kind of breakfast things going on. So I really like them. I would have them again. Uh, maybe with a bit of bacon. Maybe with a bit of... Yeah, they would do good with bacon. Yeah, they would do good with bacon. Um, so I'm just looking out. It's very miserable outside, and we're meant to be going away tomorrow. So I'm kind of hoping, you know, hopefully it starts to clear up a little bit. That would be awfully nice because we are staying on a farm. Yeah, yeah. I've got my wellies ready. Yeah, I'm going to take some old trainers, I think. Um, But yeah, uh, apart from that, I think we're just gonna, we can't wait to get away, film some film some new stuff for you guys and see what we can do. Um, But the most important thing is, if you like the video, please hit that button. Uh, hit the subscribe button because it's really important. Me and Katie have been loving all the new things that keep oh, appearing. We've got a good few, um, yeah, like, few subscribers in the past I, couple of days. We kind of do this game where we go, guess how many we're on? And I always get it wrong. Always do. But I'm close. But I'm always shocked by you guys and the 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 views that we're, the views that we're getting. You, you guys are amazing. So yeah, hit the hit subscribe button, hit the link button, comment if you like what we've been talking about and we'll always do our best to comment back. So... Until next time. Until next time, I'm on holiday and you'll be coming with us on holiday. Woo! So, yeah, until next time. Oh, look, there's Harry Potter cushions. But, yeah, until <laughs> next time, see you. Bye.